just about ready to roll here. And on the mound in this one, Sandy Alcantara. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough oh. to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if one he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Pop quiz time for you, Singy. Can you tell me what year the Global Baseball League started? Oh, man. Well, I know it was a post-war effort to share baseball with the entire world, so I'd imagine sometime in the ball. 50s. Up and in, and the count is even, two and two. You're warm, Singy. The Global Baseball League started November 5th, 1955. There you go. I was close. Time flies when you're having fun in the GBL. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The 2-2. Two -two. Got him looking. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, getting a good look at the pitcher here in the first inning isn't a bad thing. I know he struck out, but you can live with that as long as the other hitters in this lineup can learn something from it. Carlos Correa, now the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Slice the other way, that's a base hit. Around first, digging for two, throws to second, and that's a two-bagger. You got to get on your horse and get to that ball and get it back in because he's going to come barreling around first and put some pressure on you. Oh. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, it's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Well, here's a guy at the plate. I'm expecting to have go. a good game. He always seemed to play better in road games. Go ahead, run at second, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the upper half is open. That misses the zone, and it's 3-2. and two. Mitch Hanniger in the on-deck circle. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Hard ground ball, base down. Correa on his horse and coming home. He scores, and they have the lead. 1-0. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. That one fouled off. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base. But this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. The 0-2. Gets a piece. And stays a lot. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Freeman calls it in to a leg. So up next, Mark McGuire. First no, offering it. and it just misses. The runner at first with two gone. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just... Oh, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. A run on two hits and they leave one. Bottom of the first. Here's Trey Turner. That's so good. As he turns on the rubber, and with the live arm delivers. This one driven deep, way back there, and it's gone. We are tied. And this place is rocking, and we have a tie ball game. It's 1-1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Vladimir oh. Guerrero, the next to hit, takes ball one. Out to short, Correa. On to first, and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. 
Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. We talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. Wayne comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Henderson going back, feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Got it. The Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's That's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Bryce Harper in the on-deck circle. Tied up here in the early going. And a foul ball. Center field. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I could see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact yeah. rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Hanniger sizes this one up, makes the grab, and that's the inning. But we're all tied up thanks to this solo homer. All even at one. And we're back. We'll say Altuve up to it here. So they turn to Craig Kimbrell. Ladies and gentlemen, pitch. your attention, please. Top of the zone for a called strike. Greg Kimbrell. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 2. Sets him down looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. That's out number two. And now here's a speed threat outfielder, Julio Rodriguez foul back our way and that's out of play. Ah. 0 and 2 now as he swings through. 0 and 2. Out to center. Turner in pursuit. He's got it and that is that. We go to the bottom of the second. Tied at one. They Your hand the ball over to a new arm. Andres Munoz. JT Real Muto steps in. The pitch. Out to short. In plenty of time to first. And Real Muto is out. And now it's Christian Yelich. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from no there, one. can really settle in. Movement in the bullpen. Brian Abreu getting loose out there. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. And here it comes. later on when this game is over. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there oh. or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's well. going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. With the go-ahead run at first, bottom half of inning number two. Oh, no. Yelich goes. Two. Swing and a miss. Well there, safe. Oh, the good arm behind the 
Fish, it's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty good throw as well, but really good clean stolen base. He can be pretty proud of himself. Foul ball still, a one and two count. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, no, so you really have to execute on the mound. Look out! That hit him. And it that hit him. Picture, he had two strikes on him, and he hit him. The new pitcher in the game, Brian Abreu. And we all know about a slider. It's just a filthy man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Jose Altuve in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. one and one. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Two on, one out. And a count one and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And he got him. That's out number two. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle That's of the, the strike ball. zone. And right there, excellent One execution, and, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Two on, two outs. Two and up. Squirts away a little bit. And now, a single might score two. to Young. Zips it to first. What a play to end the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top half of the third inning. And now the oh, catcher comes up to him. Cal Raleigh. That nice clips the zone. And it's one and one. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead yeah. in the count. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Bounce to the right. Now Tuve handles it, tosses the first, and that quickly two away. Now Correa up to hit. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And makes the play, and that's out. Bottom of the inning, and now the right fielder, Vladimir Guerrero. He's 0 for 1. Abreu back to work. To the left side, but it is well fouled. Kicks and deals. And now oh. it's even up. Out front, rip foul. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Max hey. and misses, it's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And a miss as he was late that time. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot. But right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? I'll make a quick adjustment. And it drops in. And the winning run is aboard. There you go. Winning run is aboard with one down. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They've got to go a long way as well. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Another 0 2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Wouldn't chase that time. Two. 
Got him swinging. Stood absolutely. You know, Matt Moore gets the ball now. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Ground ball right side. Altuve. Off balance throw. In time. That's the third. Go ahead, run on base. Here's Mike Trout. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Billy Wagner gets handed the rock out of the pen. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. A massive home run. And that's how they take the lead. It's 3-1. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you could say that's efficiency right there. Didn't yeah. need much time in the box to make an impact. No ball. At the belt and fires. Inside, almost got him. One and two. Swings, ah, throw it on, that's a strikeout. Toughest pitch to hit, fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Two runs across in the inning, and here in extra innings. Foul ball still 0-2. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup to out. Here's a former MVP, Jose Altuve. In the air, out towards right center. Tatis after it. He's got it. And that is out number three. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We're midway in the fourth. The Kaiju on top three to one. Jose Leclerc on to try and close it out. Well, the best relievers love it. And now it is JT Real Muto. First wow. pitch, not close. And delivers oh, outside. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game winning run to the plate. Fall off foul. <laughs> swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Two and two well, count. He knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable Down of going four. out there and doing damage with it. Christian Yelich to bat next. Took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And fouled off. Tying run at first. The winning run at the plate. LeClerc checks the runner. Real Mutil back in there. And the pitch. In the air to left center, Rodriguez sizing this one up. And there's one away. So, man aboard, one down, and it's Tatis at the plate. 0 for 1 so far. And that one fouled off. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for another play. That's the ball. And that's, that's off the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. And Still another one. ball. Tatis waits. Right Swing here. and a miss, and now two and two. With two, two strikes, two may strikes. see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. 
And now it's three and two. So here we go. Okay. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Leclerc keeping him close. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Makes the grab, and there's two away. So they're down to their the final out. out. Now it's, it's the second baseman. This is Altuve. Fly to left his first time. One out. One on a pitch inside. Big situation right here. You've got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run. Question is, do you see? On the ground to the foul left. Ball. And it's just foul. That was close. This one high in the air to left center. Henderson on the move. And there it is. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris